Hey guys, this is Mr. Crayfish and welcome back to my redstone tutorials. In this tutorial today, I'm going to be teaching you how to build this vending machine. So this works like any old vending machine. So you insert your money in, like that. And then you select the item that you want. So I want a bit of dirt. Give me that dirt. Now you can do it again, so you put our emerald. And I might get a log this time. Yay, awesome. Now, this tutorial today is quite advanced, so if you have any problems, make sure you re-watch this, watch this to make sure you are building it correctly. But anyway, let's start building. So what you are going to need is 21 redstone, 9 redstone torches, 13 redstone repeaters, 3 redstone comparators, 2 blocks of redstone, 2 hoppers, 2 sticky pistons, 3 droppers, three stone buttons, three item frames, three ladders, one chest, and 64 block of your choice. The first thing that we want to do is dig a three by four hole in the ground. So one, two, three, then one, two, three like that. And then that is a three wide by four long hole. Then we need to dig down two more layers. Now place two blocks in front of the chest. On the first one, place a redstone comparator facing away from the hopper. Then on the second one, place a redstone repeater. Then we want to have the redstone repeater, repeater's power go into this block here and place a piece of redstone dust under it. To this left side, place a block and then a torch on this front face. Now to the right of this chest here, place a block and a piece of redstone dust on top and then put a redstone repeater going into that block there and it should get powered by this redstone torch here. Now on this left side of the comparator, place a block of redstone and then place one redstone dust on top. So we've just built the payment process, so what we have to do now is configure it. So open up this bottom hopper here and in the first slot, place 63 emerald and in the last four, place four beds. Now make sure they are beds because beds are non-stackable. Um, this emerald can be any currency you like but I'm just doing emerald just to do just to go with the Minecraft currency. Now to the left to the left and right side of this hopper place two blocks and then we want to create some sort of N shape over the top of it. On this top layer here place your three buttons. Now go behind it and on this bottom layer here place three blocks. On top of them facing away, place redstone repeaters. In front of the redstone repeaters, place a block. And then on this face of the block, place three redstone torches. On top of the redstone torches, place some blocks. Then on the blocks I'm standing on right now, place some redstone repeaters facing towards the front and they should be powered. Then in front of these ones, place some more blocks and three redstone torches on top. Now on these blocks which the buttons are on, um, place three more blocks, then place your three droppers in front of the redstone torches and place ladders in front of the droppers. Now come to the back here and right at the end what we need to do is dig a three by three by three hole, so like one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, and like that, and then just dig two more layers down. Now at the back here what we want to do is place three blocks on the bottom layer, a row of them, and then place another three in front of them. Now at this top left corner here we want to place a block um, behind that one and we want to pop a piece of redstone on it. On the back of this block here place a redstone torch. Then on this middle layer here on this right side we want to place two redstone comparators like that. Behind this one here we want to place redstone dust. Behind this one we want to place a redstone repeater facing towards the left. On this back left corner here we want to place a sticky piston so it extends to the front and then put a block of redstone in front of that. Now behind these torches at the back we want to place two blocks behind them each. So one, two, one, two, one, two. To the left of this redstone block, we want to dig down two. 
then one here, place redstone at the bottom there, and then on top of there, then here, then we need to build up one more, and then one to the front here, redstone on top of that, and there, then here, there, and here. <laughs> Now on this row of blocks here, we're going to place redstone repeaters going into this row here. Place your last redstone torch on this front face of this block here. Then to the left of it, what we need to do is place a sticky piston, so when it extends, it goes towards the front. Place a block in front of it there. Now come into the guts, and two blocks below these blocks here, which the redstone torches are up torches are on. We need to create another three row of blocks like that. Place three redstone on top of them. At the end of this redstone here, place a redstone repeater facing towards the left. Now this block in front of the repeater here, dig it out and then dig out this block under that block there. Then dig this one out to the right. Place a block in between these two ones here and then what we need to do is place um, two redstone down here and then redstone the last three redstone on top of those blocks here but on top of these two redstone there place two blocks just so it doesn't interfere with this one here and then the last thing that you've got to do is just place your item frames um, in between the droppers and the buttons just so people know what items you are selling in this vending machine now I suggest that you do some sort of frame around this so people can't open the droppers from the sides. So that should prevent old people trying to be able to open this. As you, see, as you can see, I can't right click on those droppers at all. Now I'm going to try and explain how this works. So we're going to go in the guts here and what happens first when you put your emerald in is it checks to see if it is an emerald and if it is it sends out a pulse here which turns off this redstone torch this here is a T flip flop and it moves this redstone block just to over here it turns off this redstone signal which turns off these redstone repeaters this here is the safety mechanism so it will always keep these repeaters on because this redstone torch this redstone um, wire is off this redstone torch will get turned on, pushing this block in front of that repeater there. And it will stay like this until someone presses a button. So we'll go ahead and demonstrate this. Put an emerald in. Oh. And as you can see, this is staying forward. That redstone block is there. And it will stay like this until someone presses the button now. So when someone presses the button, it sends out a signal... Um, into this block here which turns off this redstone torch which turns off these redstone repeaters here and turns on the redstone torch here to um, um, power the dropper which then gives you your item it also powers this redstone here which then this resets the vending machine so you have to insert another item another emerald to get another one of these items here. So I tried to explain that as best as I can, but this vending machine is quite advanced, so if you didn't really understand that, just re-watch that bit and you should get a better idea of how this works. Um, I didn't explain it fully just because I didn't want to waste your guys, your guys time too much. Um, so yeah, there we go. So there we go guys, that is the end of the tutorial. If you enjoyed this tutorial today, remember to leave a like. If you have any ideas for tutorials, let me know in the comments. Um, I did have a few issues with this tutorial today and it was just human error. Um, I got some of the um, item counts wrong and I also had to do a quick um, fix on this because I actually did it wrong in the first original design that I was going to teach you guys. So I fixed that up um, in it. Um, I hope you guys don't mind, don't get too angry at me, I know some of you are, um, but anyway, remember to leave a like, and I will see you guys next time, bye.